morning. What's doing, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. TGIF. Wow, it seems like every <laughs> every week there's a TGIF. It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Friday morning, 6.45 in the morning. Oh my God, I had an amazing, an amazing engagement party last night. And I think I still could possibly be intoxicated. There was so much 1942 in Casa Azul that I think that I think you can get drunk just by being near me. <laughs> my very dear and closest friend, like my brother, Kalman, Kuf Lamed Mem Nun, him and his wife, and his future. Makatanam, they made an amazing, amazing, amazing engagement party yesterday. Amazing. Wow. Oh my God. It started at 7.30. My wife and I and my youngest left at 11.30. And it was still pumping. Amazing. Amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is Friday. I love Fridays. I really do. We have a short day today. I'm doing a few estimates. You got to do those estimates, you know, to get those bigger jobs, those installations, you know. I have to go back to that Burnham steam boiler, which I don't think was released yet, the video, for the bad pilot assembly on the U.S. boiler Burnham Independence IN-5 from 2011, 2012. You know, those, um, that period of time, you know, the, the pilot assembly, the intermittent ignition pilot assembly, uh, they weren't sending, over time, they weren't sending enough flame current or flame voltage to the to back to the control module right and it was um a problem right because you had a spark you had flame and then it would turn off randomly so we're gonna take care of that i'm tired but there's one thing that makes today a great day besides thanking god for another day is that I'm another day closer to heading out out of LaGuardia with Peter to Pittsburgh. Oh, can't wait. Sunday evening, between seven, th uh, starting around 7.38, Peter and I will be hosting uh, a meet and greet with some drinks at the Pittsburgh Marriott Airport location. And uh, hopefully you guys can join. Anyone who's nearby would love that. Uh, we're going to celebrate the uh, the pre-party for the pre-install of the Bosch IDS 2.0 system for the family in Vandergrift, Pennsylvania. You know, they're in the rural foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in western Pennsylvania. Uh, the family had recently suffered a tragic loss of their matriarch, the mom and father, sorry, the mom and the, uh, the wife of the two uh, family members of this family. It's, it's, it's sad. Very, very sad. And the 42-year-old son, um, you know, he has, has autism. He's kind of functional. I haven't met him yet. We spoke on, uh, on, on the phone, and uh, he sent me a bunch of videos of his, of his town. And I'm looking forward to meeting them. And I'm looking forward to doing my little part my little part of giving back to the community. And when I say community, it doesn't mean just where I live. I mean globally. You know, giving back to the community. And that's what we all should be doing. You know, giving a little bit back. If you're in the trades, you know what? Donate some time. You know, donate a job here and there to a needy family. Just the right thing to do. You know, pay it forward. And that's one of the things that I decided to do 
when my Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor YouTube channel um, hit that major milestone of 100,000 subscribers, you know, about a month and a half ago. Thank God, 127,000 now. Very nice. We're growing steadily. Slow and steady, baby. And I'm not talking about winning the race. I'm just talking about having, you know, making, you know, public aware, public awareness. But um, I'm honored to be in a position. And I thank God I'm in a position where I can, uh, I can do that. Give back to the community. And um, I make no joke. You know, Mr. Beast, you know, he puts in water wells in Africa. Well, let me help lay some pipe. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not a man of his stature and caliber. But let me help lay some pipe. I want to do that. I want to do that. And I want you guys to help me. All right, so just at the shop, I got I to gotta clean out this bad boy. I really got to do. I got to clean it out because it's pretty... Uh, it's pretty filthy. Look at this. Let me show you what's going on in there. Yeah, and that's legit, by the way. Yep. <laughs> that was introduced yesterday. So I'm going to do a little tour here in a, in a, on the Mikey Pipes. Sorry, the Mikey's Garage YouTube channel. But um, listen, it's small. Turn the light on in there. Um, I got a lot going on in here, as you can see. A lot. I had to take an ST12 out of there, so that's why this is all, you know, discombobulated right now. But I'm going to go put that back in. I have some uh, material and some parts I need to give to Daniel. And, um, yeah, yeah, it should be should be good. But I'm going to do a tour of this in the, in the short future. I'm just still trying to work out a few kinks, right? It's small. I regret not getting the taller uh, metris, right? A little bit taller. But, um, yeah, it's working. It's working, you know? All right. Friday morning. I just wanted to verify something here. Daniel just pulled up. All right, there it is. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Um, yep. That's you. Here, this is you. What is it? School bus stop on safety? Yeah, you went through a school bus, a stop school bus. Really? Yeah, you really. That's for you, bro. <laughs> gotcha. Can you believe this? Now, granted, I'm not defending Daniel, but you shouldn't be driving past a school bus with a red light out. No bueno. That's a major ticket, actually. But there's this company called Alert Bus. I almost threw it in the garbage. All right? It looked like junk mail. Was dressed to me because, um, whatever. Um, I opened it and I was like, that's Daniel. A school bus red light camera? Like, what the fuck is this? I swear they try to squeeze every little thing out of you. Just try to squeeze every little. Have a good weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Monday, I'm going to do a live stream from Pittsburgh, Western Pennsylvania, doing this Bosch IDS 2.0 install. Sunday night at the Marriott uh, at the airport, Pittsburgh. We're going to be there uh, around 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Have some drinks. And um, good things are coming, ladies and gentlemen. Good things are coming. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe.